I'm Toby from Cyber Market. This is the Polk Sub 10, a passive outdoor subwoofer. And this is the SAT 30, all part of the uh, Polk range of atrium outdoor speakers. This is a satellite speaker. Um, usually use these in pairs, and, uh, but for the unboxing, we're just gonna have a look at one. But first of all, we're gonna look at the Sub 10. Now, this is a passive subwoofer, so it will require amplification. That means an amplifier, preferably indoors. They don't fare very well outdoors. Okay. Just a bit of this. Let's, get, let's take this off. Okay, so here it is. It mimics a kind of terracotta kind of pot of some sort. You can put a plant on the top if you want it to vibrate and make a noise. Um, downward firing sub. It's also got here a, um, a point where you can secure it. So, so if, you, you know, if your garden is accessible to the public or just anyone who can get access, you can actually keep this chain down so no one can take it away. Um, it's also got keyhole mountings on it as well, another way to kind of keep it secure. It actually has four inputs, so it's a dual input speaker. So uh, with an amplifier, say if you've got an A and a B output on it, you can put the subwoofer solely on the B output, left, right, plus and minus um, there. Um, yeah. 10 inch, the, 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 the number t sub 10 comes from the 10 inch driver that is housed here. And this honestly, seriously packs a punch outside. Put it down the patio, you know, hide it away, yeah, sort of around the patio with a couple of satellites. And it really, really does sound pretty awesome. Um, especially with this, which is the Atrium Sat 30. Now just on a little box here, so before I open it and take it away, it's got a bit of a, a couple of um, installation kind of ideas. You can actually install this speaker in few kind of ways. You can use it as a stake kind of speaker in the floor. So it comes with a stake mounting that goes into the ground. It can be hung um, like here, and it can also be bolted to a wall. So it can also be bracket mounted there as well. And everything, Apart from the hanging wire, I think, everything is there that you need to plug that in. But we'll have a look at it now. Okay, so first thing, some paperwork here. But here we are. So the first thing that we've seen, just that we saw before, is the mounting plate here. Um, you can bury this under the ground and put the stake into it. It gives it an extra level of security. You have then got, here is the stake again, which, will, which attaches to, to the speaker itself. And here is the speaker itself. Okay. So the way the bracket works on this speaker, it's got a kind of dial on the back. So you unscrew it, which allows the bracket arm to articulate. And again, once again, with all the Polk products, these brackets that they make are Super, super robust. So once that is in place, that's not going anywhere. That really is, you know, tight, tight, tight. Um, that can be screwed to the wall here. If you can see this bracket, it can be screwed to the wall if you're using that option. And then the, I think the bracket can probably be removed as well. So if I then take this off. So far, I think this just slips out here. Yeah, a little bit further. Maybe not. Better read the manual, hold on. Anyway, so this is the speaker. You can use an array of speakers. Yeah, minimal two, four speakers, you know. The only thing I would say, it doesn't have a built-in crossover, so there's no crossover built into the sub, so you will get bleed of the higher frequencies through to the sub, unless you use an inline crossover. But 
most hi-fi installations, you're not really going to notice that. It sounds awesome anyway. Um, so here's some of the other fixing um, options. So it comes with the stake for putting it into the ground, which will in there. And these are the bits here as well. So look, this is the alternative bracket for the mounting. Let's have a look at that. Let's get all these bits out. And then we'll have a look at the manual. So they really have thought of everything, Polk, for this. They have the, you know, they've kind of got all these extra bits here. These are for putting your wires into to keep them under the ground. You put, you know, when you make a connection, you use those. Screws, spade terminals. Um, and this is the eye hook for hanging. And these are on here. They don't come with it. And yeah, and here is the speaker. Right. So let's have a look. Let's get all these things out here and find out what everything is. go through all of these and see exactly what these do. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So let's have a look. Let's move this out of the way for now. Right, here is the mounting template. So this is a screw location for the speaker mounting. So if you're using on the back here, these two speaker holes here, which I presume are these uh, speakers, these screws that they have kindly supplied here. Um, this is the mounting um, thing for them. You can put the template on the wall and mark where the, where the screw holes go. Very useful, very useful. And then we have the manual here. So what we're looking for is these accessories. So here we go. Here. So you don't have to use all of this stuff. So you've got a security plate, which is like I say, you bury it. You put this, you stake it into the ground or you bury it in the ground with this. And you put this screw here through the bottom. And then you screw it into that. And then the speaker. You can then mount using the same screws that you've got here. The speaker wire can go, yeah, speaker wire can go straight through the hole here and then feed out through the side of here. And I think there's a kind of, yeah, it has been cut in a way where that is easily done. Okay, so here are all the accessories that come with the SAT30. So this is a burial plate, you don't have to use it, it just gives you an extra level of security. Um, you screw the stake onto it and then attach the um, speaker here using this rubber bung in between there and there and these screws. And that basically gives you an extra bit of security. You can just use the stake on its own on this. Um, yeah, just depends how secure your garden is. Um, this is a mounting option for hanging. So this screws right into the bottom here. And then you can hang, speaker wire comes out. There's a small aperture there for the speaker wire to come out. You take this bracket off just by unscrewing this uh, locking device right off. And that will give you the hanging option. So you've got three different mounting options, either by the wall, by the stake in the floor, in the ground, and this one hanging options, and these are all the bits for it. Um, the only other additional bits here are these are little wiring lugs. Basically, when you parallel wires together, you can poke them both in here, and there's a little spring in there that holds them all in together. Usually, I try and then seal them with uh, you know, some kind of insulation tape as well, just to keep it really secure. Um, and that is it. I don't think there's anything else much more from the... Specifications, again, you can paint the sub as well. Let's to put this back up. I think 
It's actually true of most pulp, pulp outdoor products. They are paintable. Um, this gives you um, an indication here of how to paint the, the atrium sub 10. Um, what does it say? Yeah, Krylon sandable spray primer can be used to make it the color of your choice. Um, yeah, and there's also very useful in here, there's some very different, um, different hookup uh, directions, so different ways to wire uh, the speakers in combination with the amp, which is really useful. You're going to need that. Um, you know, you can actually write the wire them because they're not you know, the same speaker, uh, essentially, when you connect them in parallel, it doesn't drop the impedance. So you can connect either to the single output it's showing here. You can connect both the subwoofer and a left and a right satellite, which is pretty cool as well. But it's all explained in here, wiring diagrams. Yeah, doing it with two amps as well, showing you all different kind of options in here and gives you a nice little demonstration of how to use these lovely little speaker lugs. Yep, it's all in here. It's the Polk Sub 10 and the Sat 30. Um, buy them at Cyber Market. We always have them in stock if you want to come down for a demo. Um, yeah, we always have these guys here ready to listen to.